OK, let's do this. Today I'll tell you something about simulation. There are many types of simulations. For example, a flight simulator or someone who pretends to be ill when they aren't. Often we don't recognize a simulation, though. Few people would consider the car crash test to be a simulation, and even fewer people would say they run a simulation when they consider two different job offers in their mind. To simulate means to pretend as if, meaning that you don't do something for real, but work with a model. The flight simulator is such a model. But also a mental construct we use to evaluate such decisions can be considered a simulation. Often these mental simulations happen automatically, especially when it comes to fast and simple day-to-day -day decisions. Other decisions are more serious. As a startup company, do I invest 200,000 euros in advertisement or two employees? How do I produce? On the conveyor belt or any manufacturer? Due to the complexity and dynamic of such scenarios, people are easily overwhelmed with these kind of decisions. Therefore, it is advisable to replace mental simulations with computer simulation, as computers work more precisely, faster and more persistent. They can do as many what-if analyses as required for a good decision. Simple computer simulations can be done with spreadsheet software. For more complex ones, there are special methods like system dynamics, the discrete event simulation or the agent-based simulation.